In this video, we are going to understand what is multi-factor authentication, different authentication methods, how does it work, and MFA methods provided by Mini Orange. Let's dive into each topic. We often hear about multi-factor authentication or 2FA. In fact, you probably already use it in some form. For example, you must have swiped your bank card at the ATM and then entered your PIN, or logged into a website that sent an Americ code to your phone, which you then entered, to gain the access to your account. Multi-factor authentication is an authentication process, in which a user has to present different pieces of evidence to an authentication mechanism in order to gain access to the particular resources, which can be a website, an application, a network, or a VPN. It makes cyber attacks more difficult, like phishing, malware, etc., by adding additional layers of authentication that protect your privacy and provide a high level of assurance and security. Now let's see different authentication factors. When you have to enter only your username and one password, that's considered as single-factor authentication or the first factor of authentication. MFA adds additional verification factors like OTP, push notification, fingerprints, and many more. These authentication methods can be categorized under six sections, something you know, like username and password, PIN, security question, etc. Something you have, like a cell phone, keycard, or encrypted USB, laptop, etc. Something you are, like fingerprints, iris scans, or some other biometric data. Location factor, it usually denotes the location from which an authentication attempt is being made. Time factor, restricts the user authentication to a specific time window, during which, login is allowed. Adaptive authentication, it analyses additional factors by considering context and behavior when authenticating. Now let's see how does MFA works. User navigates to the application login page and submits his or her login credentials. The login credentials are then checked against the stored credentials. If the login credentials match, the user is prompted for the second factor for authentication. The user then validates his second factor, which is then verified against the authentication system. After successfully completing the second factor, the user is granted access to the system. If you have more authentication methods configured, then it will ask you to validate all of them before finally giving you access to the system. Now let's see different MFA methods provided by Mini Orange. Unlike other IAM providers, Mini Orange provides multiple MFA methods to add an extra layer of security for your web apps, mobile apps, VPNs, and Windows-based solutions. Mini Orange provide 15 plus authentication methods for you to choose from, like SMS, email, authenticator apps, mini orange authenticator, hardware token, security questions, call verification, and many more. I hope I was able to make you understand what is MFA, how does it work, and the different authentication methods. To find out how we can make your business more secure drop us a query at info at securify.com.